Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a get it or forget it on the new Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. So I actually picked this palette up pretty much the first day it came out. I did not actually pick it up myself. My friend Song was kind enough to get it for me. She was up late that night and actually went ahead and ordered it. I think like late into the morning as soon as it released on the Anastasia website. I'm so thankful that she got that for me so thank you so much to Song and I'm really excited to review this palette for you guys. So I've been trying it out ever since it came in and it came in about a week and a half ago. So yeah I'm ready to give you guys my full thoughts and opinions. I've pretty much tried most of the shades in the palette and I'm going to do some swatches, pros and cons. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new to my channel real quick then welcome make sure before you leave you do not forget to subscribe down below that way you're notified for future videos from me I do post two times a week so I post on Sundays and Wednesdays and then I throw in a couple bonus videos here and there so yeah I'll leave this palette link down below if you guys are interested in checking it out and let's go ahead and get into the swatches okay so real quick this is what the palette looks like right here it says master palette by Mario and then it has the Anastasia little label right here and then on the back it has the ingredients and it has the shades and and all that good stuff. This right here is what the palette looks like exactly like the packaging. When you open it up you do get a little mirror right here and then you also get a little brush. I'll show you guys what the brush looks like. So this right here is what the brush looks like. It is a double-ended brush and it has Anastasia on it. Honestly just to be truthful I could always do without the brushes. I never use the brushes in palettes for some reason like give me two more eyeshadows hold the brush <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So yeah let's go ahead and let's swatch the palette. Here are the first four shades in the top row. Okay I'm also going to do some brush swatches underneath for you guys too. And I mean they pretty much <laughs> look the same if you swatch them with your finger or a brush. I know sometimes that is not the case. But yeah, so this is what the first four look like on the top row. Uh, this color right here is almost the same color kind of as my skin tone. I'm kind of fair right now. But right here you have Hollywood. Then the next shade over is NYC. Then you have Kim. And then you have Muse. So here are what those shades look like right there. Yeah, so really beautiful shades right there. Okay, and then I'm going to swatch the last two of the first row. So here are what those two shades look like. Okay, so here are these two shades. So right here you have Marina, and this is the finger swatch. This is the brush, finger, and then the brush. And then the second shade is called Claudia. I just love this pink shade right here. I think it's so beautiful on the lid. Oh my gosh, next up are some of the mattes. Oh, wait till you guys see the mattes. So here is the second row. So the top row, of course, are finger swatches, and then the bottom row is the brush swatches. So here are these colors up close. They're really beautiful. Honestly, this shade right here is what I have been using the most. It's called Isabel. I just love it. Super pigmented. I love Anastasia shadows. Oh, wait till you guys see these last two. They're so pretty. So here are the last two. You have Bronx and Paris. Okay, so here are those two swatched. Alright, so of course you have the finger swatch brush, finger swatch brush, and you have Bronx, which is the green, and then Paris, which is this really nice, like, darker. Okay, so let's break down the pros and cons of this palette. Okay, so first off, too, this palette is sold at Sephora, and you can get it on Anastasia.com. I think you can get it at Macy's as well. I'll try to leave everything linked down below where you guys can purchase it, but it is $45. So, pros of the palette. I love how, like, travel-friendly Anastasia palettes are. Like, they're really good size. You can pack them up. They're thin. They are good quality. Like, they are heavy palettes. And I always love the quality. I love that you do get a mirror. I mean, the mirror isn't like bomb.com. Like, it's not huge. I mean, you can't do your full face with it. But at least you get a mirror. At least they don't skip out on that. And it is nice that they include a brush, even though I don't technically normally use them. Okay, next pro about the palette is everything is super pigmented. And I mean super pigmented. I feel like they don't come off as pigmented when you swatch them on your hand as they are on your lids. So, for instance... The first time I had actually used this shade right here was the weekend of my friend's wedding and oh my gosh. I went ahead and just like buffed it on like I was about to flat as my transition color and I was like 
holy cow I, mean, I feel like go in and blend that out because they are super pigmented and I really like that you do get like kind of pro and con but I like that you are getting a ton of like the shimmer shades or the full shades I mean pretty much you're only getting three shades that are going to be matte and the rest are all like shimmer colors so I really like that you can incorporate this as kind of like a lid palette right like you can go in here you can get all of your different lid colors and then you can throw in like neutrals from other palettes and these are three really good staple neutrals as well you have a cool tone shade you have a very warm tone and then you have like your dark brown which is a really classic shade as well I have really liked using this palette and I feel like a lot of the shades work really really nice I feel like Anastasia just keeps getting better and better and better like last year's palette I mean I liked it it was okay but it didn't blow me away and then like when she came out with her modern renaissance palette like that palette killed it <laughs> and I feel like this one is just another really great one as well like she keeps getting better and I love how all the formula in the palette is very consistent now as far as cons go honestly you do get a lot of kickback with these shades now I don't mind it as much because whenever I review the Lorac palette I got a lot of kickback out of those shades but then also I had to go in and keep applying some of them like they didn't just go on like bam at first some of the shades didn't but with these all the shades do go on really pigmented even though you are getting a lot of kickback now also another thing like I said you are getting a lot of the shimmer shades so if you're looking for a palette that's going to give you like kind of overall like mattes and shimmers this might not be for you because it does contain a lot more shimmer shades but that is also like not very common in a lot of palettes you know what I mean like normally you're getting more mattes than you are like pigmented shimmer or metallic full shades so that could be a con just depends on what you're looking for and then another thing of course is you're getting 12 shades like for me a lot of the holiday palettes that are huge like are around the same price and you're getting way more but granted some of those aren't as pigmented so it just depends on what your budget is for me I would rather spend you know the same amount on high quality shadows than spend that amount and get something that I don't like or something I'm not going to use every day so yeah overall there's an up close of the palette again but I really like this palette I would say if you've had your eye on it definitely check it out I really like the shimmer shades they're beautiful on the lid I've used this quite a few times and I've been impressed with every single shade that I have put on so yeah I hope this video was helpful and give me a thumbs up if you like the get it or forget it series as always I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Bye!